a really good paper I loved by his name, but Schwingshackle. He has a network meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials. So this is where you sort of pool data from multiple trials, looking at different foods, and you estimate how or what the effect of each one would be relative to others. They found that of the various foods, and they looked at meat, dairy, whole grains, nuts, refined grains, and legumes, they found that the nuts and whole grains, both lectin-containing foods, were amongst the best as far as anti-inflammatory effects based on their score that they were given. Uh, legumes were sort of middle of the table, but still not at the bottom, not you know, suggesting that they're inflammatory. If it's the case that these lectin-containing foods are causing inflammation, we should see them be near the bottom. We should see things like the meat and the dairy being at the top, but that just wasn't really the case. I would say that, yeah, when you take a step back and look at the actual human clinical trial data, we see that these plant foods tend to be quite beneficial, at least for inflammatory markers.